guys, we are here at RACV Royal Pines playing Blue Course. This, now, this is a course that I haven't actually uh, ever played before, but see how it goes. So, we got about 220, I think, for that bunker up there. I've never played the course, I'm going to go three iron, and then it's going to leave me about 100, 115 out to the green. So, let's see how we go. The first tee shot went to plan. We've got about 110 to the front, probably about 115 to the pin. Just going to go up on the left, this side of the bunkers there. It's cold, morning, it's wet. The ball's not going to travel as fast. We're on a pitching wedge and uh, get on the green. be so close. I hope that's as close as it looks like from here. What a start. Alright, so I've absolutely hit that exactly where I wanted to and from back there it is a bit dark so kind of hard to see exactly how close it is but uh, I think it's a little further away. Getting over excited. From back there it looks so close because it's just in front of the pin maybe a meter or so in front so Anyway, still a good shot. Let's get a birdie. Just start to left at the last second. Righty, so we got uh, a par three now. And about 160 to the middle. I'm gonna go. We're gonna go a six iron just because morning dew takes a bit off the board. It's easy to try and up there. Could be in the middle. Just like that. Another great shot. Again, I don't know exactly what this hole is doing down there, so I'm not going to go at it and stuff myself up. At about 180 to the fairway bunker, so I want to be just short of that, leaving me again about 110 to the green. And uh, so that's the target. Perfect. So we got 94 to the front, and it looks like there's a bit of a hill at the back there. So I'm just wondering whether I go at it with this or a pitching wedge. I think we'll be right. So I got a 50 degree. I'm gonna play it pretty much full, and uh, see if we can get it close. but that's a touch long. 
Maybe that's not 94. Actually, point as far away as what it looked like from there. It's a pretty good shot, really. Probably just missed that ridge by about two meters. So this time we got 307 meters of the green. No real advantage going driver because there's water on the left and it brings the bunkers into play on the right. So three irons is just short. Could be about 90 to the green. Seventeen to the front and one twenty-nine to the middle. But looks like a decent sized green. I'm gonna go on nine iron. One of the things that I've been trying to teach myself is that the green has room at the back, so don't be afraid to go a bit of an extra club just to get at the back. It's much better than being short all the time. So yeah. So I'm not really sure if the camera got that. I noticed that it actually slipped down a little bit here in the cart, but um, I think I'm either just on or uh, just on the fringe there. So lucky I did go that nine iron. Um, I didn't exactly hit it that well either. So, you know, having a nine iron as opposed to a pitching wedge gives you that forgiveness. I suppose that if you don't hit it as well, oh yeah, I'm on. If you don't hit it as well, um, then you're still going to get there so I didn't hit that that well and I'm still well now I'm pin high instead of five or ten meters on onto the back of the green so worked out well all right so par five again Plenty of room out to the right, plenty of room to the left, water on the left, but I'm just going to go straight at that tree at the back. Stare at the ball, follow through, hit up on all of this stuff. Better than that. 204 to the front, probably about 210 to the middle. I've got a three iron, and I'm going to have a go because even if I come short, it's just a, a chip up and a putt for 30. So. Let's go. <laughs> strike that very well actually got it really thin but we're still in the middle of the fairway and probably 60 meter chip so it's not fine 40 meters to the pin and we try and hit it 40 meters remember that there's a green behind us we've got about 60 meters so hit it 45 keep your ball on the green give yourself the best chance to pass
I'd say I obviously rushed that first chip, put a horrible chip shot swing on it, and that's exactly what I meant when that's where people go wrong. So anyway, lucky the second chip is basically a, uh, it's not really a gimme, it's just outside a gimme range, but it should be fine. And uh, let's go put that in for par, move to the next hole. So this hole was played pretty well, but you see when it comes down to short game, and I mean that is the most important. So let's go put this in. Alrighty guys, so short par four, uh, 270. Now, I could go at this, really give it a dip, but like I said, I've never played this course before. And I'm confident enough from 100 out, so I might as well just get a three iron and, and hit it to you know, 90, 80 meters. Give myself the best chance of birding a par. Right, so I think it's about 95 to the middle there out of the first cut of rough. Then looks like it's at the back, which is fine because the ball's gonna get a bit of a roll on. I'm just wait for the groundskeepers, make sure that I'm good to go. I did not want to use a driver, look at that. That's protected more than the Vatican vault. So we're now on a par three. About 125 meters to the middle. That pins at the back, so I'm guessing around about 130, 132. So I'm going nine iron. Just gonna go again just straight at it. No point being short, it's gotta be on. actually a touch long. Oh well, up and down. So from the tee box, I actually thought this had rolled down this hill, but a little hill here, I thought it had rolled down. It didn't. stayed here and you can't see that because of that hill, the little ridge there, so we've got a putt. They are slow and do not go fast. Fast. Alright, so we've got a uh, little dog leg left. It's about 340, I think. I'll have to double check. Little dog leg left. Perfect for a baby draw. So I'm going to go right at that back bunker. Draw it around. Maybe even still on the fairway, just a bit right. Alright, so 
I'm absolutely loving this nine, in case you can't tell. Um, playing well, but what I find is this has really made me think about the shots that I'm playing. I mean, the bunkers are huge. Uh, there's par fours where you can attack it for a driver with, you know, risk reward and that sort of thing. Uh, I found my iron plays actually come into play um, quite a lot on this, this nine, using the three iron off the tee a fair bit. Um, we've had longer par threes, we've had shorter par threes, we've had long par fives, had a bogey. Um, but playing, playing really well either way, and uh, it, it gives you a lot of variation. I think the only downside a little bit is maybe the greens are a touch slow, but they're bringing them back and it is early in the morning. So other than that though, I'm so happy to be playing. Oh yeah, I'm in the fairway, that was a good tee shot. Um, so happy to be playing uh, this nine for the first time. This is awesome. So uh, let's get to my ball, which is right here. Right. And um, have a crack at the pin. 130 to the front, about 144 to the middle. I left myself a longer part than I wanted, but it's all good, we're on the green. Get it up near the hole and two part and on the nose. Alrighty guys, so probably not going to be able to see the pin from there, but uh, must have landed on the upslope here, so I didn't really get any roll, I'm about 118 from the middle, um, I'm going to go a pitching wedge, because I feel like I'm going to need a bit more of that extra club, so plenty of green to work with. Look how much I took out of the ground. Right, so we're on the green. We have a lengthy putt again for birdie. It's probably the the only thing with the game today that's sort of been I mean the game's been really good, but I have had you know quite a lot of birdie putts. I've hit every green regulation except one. Um, and so I'm really happy with the game. Probably could have given myself a bit better of a chance with those birdie putts. Uh, into the slope there, the pin's actually right at the back, so the pin's probably about, you know, 130. I probably could have even gone a nine. That's all right. Um, 
but let's go up and get uh, see if we can nail a long one. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? So I'm putting from about a thousand feet, and as you can see, this green is not in good condition at all. So I have no idea what the Alrighty guys, so par there, ended up finishing one over. Um, really great morning, I'm just gonna head to the chipping green now and do some chipping practice, see if we can fix that. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you guys.